what's going on, people? Nosferatu here. Man just fucking woke up. Um, saw this video by Fresh and Fit. And I swear down, this guy, if there's a guy that can have um, a PhD in how modern women think, it's got to be Myron Gaines. Because this shit is just literally mind-blown. Like, I'm pretty woke when it comes to how modern women think but like the way he just spits it in this video is just mad like you ain't gotta see my fucking ugly face reacting to this just like listen to what this guy says bro it's too sick yeah let's start the shit women gotta understand that if you're gonna be in a relationship with a man and that man has any set of balls or a backbone he's gonna have standards and regulations and boundaries so if you want to behave like you're single then be single but it's very disrespectful to the man that you behave like you're single when you have a man Going to the club, dressing provocatively on the internet, dressing provocatively when he's not there, wanting to go out in social situations, drinking with other people. All right, at this point, right here, I was kind of like, what? Like, can you kind of elaborate on this? Because it's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit kind of like, I agree with him, but look at the girls, yeah? Look at how they're going to react to this. And then look at how he just breaks it down, bruv. This guy breaks it down like no one else. But yeah, he's too sick. But listen to what he says. I find it crazy how girls want to be able to have a man at home, but be able to reserve the right to still do all the things that make them look like they're single. But what Miami. if I'm not doing that and he's doing that then? Like, men and women aren't the same. Too bad. But like, what do you mean? Too bad. That makes I mean, no like, sense. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't. Because, so you have look, the freedom have and we question. don't? Yeah, Myron. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, what? What? <laughs> so what made you fall in love with me in the first place? If I, you know, like, by you not being a whore, can I ask a question? Yeah. Like, like, yo, like, it, 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 men and women are not the same. Like, a guy that can attract a bunch of chicks or a dude that fucks a bunch of girls is attractive. A girl that fucks a bunch of dudes or puts herself out there for a bunch it's of dudes not. is not attractive. Can I? Ask it's not question? the same at all. I like, know. if I go into I a, when you go to a nightclub, right? You go to a VIP section. It's a higher status man with a bunch of bitches. Mm -hmm. You are never going to go into a VIP section and see chicks with a bunch of dudes. Boom. It doesn't work the other way around. Yeah. Women yeah. love men that have other women. And it honestly keeps y'all in check. So it's a good thing. When you have a bunch of dudes, it's unattractive. I don't know why women don't understand. You guys only like the double standards that benefit you. Getting into nightclubs for free, getting attention. Getting you know what's funny is how like some girls will try to compete with you, bro. Like they'll compete with you and like they'll they'll try and like show show off like how many guys they're talking to and it's like what are you doing? Like that's actually making you less attractive. Like they would literally get in this competitive mindset where they're like, Oh, you think you're getting attention from girls? Look at how many guys want me. And it's like obviously you're a freaking girl. Like what? Like we're not even it's not even the same fucking sport, let alone playing field. Worship just because you have a vagina. For men, life is much harder. So for since life is much harder for us to be attracted to the opposite gender, we get to enjoy the fruits of our labor labor differently than you guys do. Y'all don't have to work for shit. Just go in, be hot and young, good enough. For us, we have to acquire some status, acquire some confidence, dress well, That's smell true. good, etc. You can have everything together. She's still going to reject you. you know, this girl over yep, here, right? So yep. it's like, yo, as a man, we get certain privileges that y'all don't because you don't earn your value. So I don't know why women don't get this. Like, I was saying in a relationship, I got a bunch of bad bitches that are going to come up to me that are hotter than you, younger than you, thinner than you, better body than you, more money than you, and they're offering to fly me out. They're offering to give me a bottle. They're offering me uh, a job. They're offering me certain opportunities that you'll never fucking be able to do, right? And they're going to pay me 10K. Would you let me go to the club? Yeah. You're going to split it? You're going to bring the money back? You're going to bring the money back? Money back. <laughs> no, it's all my money because my money is my money. Remember? No. I'm the girl. Exactly. Oh Y'all would never allow God, that shit. Bro. But for some odd reason, He's you guys want sick. us to accept you going to a nightclub where there's gonna be a bunch of thirsty dudes giving you a bunch of things, offering you a bunch of shit. Guys that might have more money than me, more status than me, etc. Why the fuck am I gonna go ahead and put my Rolex in the hood? That's essentially what it comes down to. You're letting your girl, right, which is a prized possession, it should be if yes. you work hard together, letting her go to a bunch of criminals or hoodlums, leaving it out there. And it could get stolen. Are we if, talking if about... we flipped it around, right? I find it crazy to me how if I was going to go to the club and have the same opportunities y'all had with all the gr hot girls coming up to me, giving me all these opportunities, y'all would never let that shit fly. Y'all really be like, fuck no, stay your ass at home. <laughs> Drink some wine with your friends. Does that mean that you would do it, though? What do you mean? 
Like if like what is a let? Like are we talking about somebody being uncomfortable with something or are we talking about her literally standing in front of the door, blocking the door with her body, not letting and hiding your keys and not letting you go anywhere? <laughs> the roles were flipped and I had all the opportunities in the nightclub that a woman enjoys as a man, y'all would have a serious issue with me going. But women know subconsciously when men go to the club, they have to pay their way in. It's annoying to deal with girls there. It's not as easy to pick up a chick. I got to pay to get a section versus girls get in there for free. If I had the same opportunities as a man in the nightclub that a woman did, you guys would be a lot more cautious about me going to the club. Yeah, but well, man, if I roll up to the club, I'm not going to accidentally get laid. It's not going to, it's not an accident, right? There's like a series of actions that have to take place. Facts, bro. As a woman, you have guys approaching you all night. If you just are a little bit friendly, all of a sudden now maybe you're sitting next to him in a, in a more exclusive venue, and then he's asking you back to his place. Like one thing leads to the next. For a guy, that all has to be like calculated maneuvers. But, if, but if it's easier for it's women to cheat, game. can't that happen anywhere? Yeah, but yeah, at a nightclub, it's a lot more likely <laughs> it, to happen than the grocery store. It's a lot store. easier if you're at a club when people are very close together. You're drinking when you're yeah, drinking. That shit's crazy. This guy's sick. Myron Gaines puts things in perspective. I don't know how. He's Muslim, by the way. Which is like even more surprising, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Nosferatu out, about to down this coffee, get the day started. Let's go. Yeah.